Good evening and welcome to Let's Play Soma. This will be a blind playthrough. I, I don't really know much at all about this game. It looks interesting, sounds interesting. Um, I don't know, we look almost like, is this some kind of outer space thing? Let's jump in here and see. Now, uh, for those of you who have fronted me on Steam, you may be saying, she has like seven hours showing up in the game. No, I have had the worst time trying to get my recording software to work with this. As you can see, there's no game to continue. It's been seven freaking hours here and there trying to get it to record. But at long last, here we are. So let's get in here and play this game. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, it doesn't go away. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. That's nothing? Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. No, it looked really Ashley, red. I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Christ. Well, that's an interesting start. That's also why you don't talk on the phone when you're driving your car. Okay. WASD is doing nothing. Arrow keys? Click? I mean, I guess I could pick up the really noisy... It would be nice to stop that obnoxious sound, but I want to explore a little... Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, um, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so that part of the dream was real. We really did have some sort of accident that resulted in brain damage. And we need some kind of scan done. Okay, so we're standing up. Ah, there's our WASD. Alright, what do we got around here? I can't quite make that science. Where did I put the tracer view? fluid? Don't worry, we'll get to it. All right, this looks like our clean outfit for the day. What else we got in here? Ooh, I can't. Hmm, I don't know what I want to do with it. Let's put it somewhere dangerous. Start a fire. Oh, did I put the fluid in the oven? Did not. Can I crouch? Yes, I can. Fluid. Where are you? Don't fret so much, Simon. We're exploring things. Okay, so along the lines of like amnesia, I can just interact with all kinds of crazy. I can't see what's in the drawers. All kinds of things. All right, silverware. Empty. How do you have empty drawers? My non-silverware drawers are full of junk. Throw like tape and extra batteries and whatever else in there. I'm gonna open everything just because I can. All right, what do we got in here? Nothing but fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Well, some pizza. That doesn't look too bad. This is questionable. I don't even know what that is. What else we got in here? The paste. What is that? Milk? Salad dressing? To do. Remind Jesse. Pick up meds. Flowers for a funeral. Ooh, whose funeral? Um, okay. So, uh, yep, I see that. Let's... There we go. Right click got me out of there. Hopefully we didn't throw the tracer fluid away. I don't really want to 
fish through the garbage. I really should drink the tracer yeah. fluid before I go see Dr. Munchie. I had a feeling he wouldn't let me leave until I looked at it. Oh, I don't have to hold control down. I can just tap it. Excellent. Good to know. What is this? Ooh. Oh, that was really super bright. To Simon Jarrett. Alright. Oh, we're in we're in Canada. Toronto. I went to Toronto once. Years ago, it was our seventh grade school field trip, and we took a train there, and the train was wonderful. I have loved trains since. We're not gonna open it up and see what's inside. Oh. Better take our keys. We'll need those. Grab a jacket, it might be cold. Shoes? Put your shoes on. Oh, socks first. Can we jump? We sure can. Oh, what's on top of the fridge? Mm -mm -mm. What you got here? Comb our hair. And our sunglasses. It might be bright outside. What is... What is that? I think it's a pen. Ooh. Oh, it looks like kind of a cool book. Mark and Diana Miller have finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to take the family on that vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach that first day, Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water. Desperate to get out of harm's way, their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tendrils. Suspenseful, mystical, and absolutely terrifying. Hooked will pull you in. That actually reminds me a lot of an H.P. Lovecraft story. I wonder if maybe it's a bit inspired by that. It's one where, um... There's people that have caught something out in the water, they can't tell what. So they're trying to pull it in, so other people rush to the rescue because they see that, like, they're getting dragged into the shore. But everyone who grabs the rope, like, gets stuck and can't let go of the rope. And meanwhile, they're being inexorably pulled into the water. So it's a very similar concept. It's got great cut-up art. I like that. Okay, we opened this. Anything under the bed? No, we can't see. Toronto Festival of Literature. Something French. Alright. Nice posters. Ooh, messages. Hey Simon, it's Jesse. Are you working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend? Or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Miss You Mean It. End of messages. I All swear, right. that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? What do we got here? I want to read it, and I can't quite. Our plant's not looking great. We should give some water to that poor thing. Ooh. Mapping Minds, Albert Isaacson. Widely praised as one of the most comprehensive yet accessible texts about the anatomy of the human brain, its function, and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body, why the brain is simply not a computer, and a multitude of other interesting facts that will make your head spin. This edition also includes two new chapters about the development of the brain and how it affects our behavior in different stages of our lives. Interesting stuff, but I think there's still enough that we don't understand about it all that I wouldn't consider this necessarily an authority. More just food for thought at this point. I'm assuming, I mean, it seems an awful lot like we're set pretty much present day. What do we have here? Ooh. Oh, I probably should be more careful with the camera. What's this? Hmm. Okay, just some coffee. And cream. Oh, these are the pictures he takes, eh? Alright. I would assume they're ours. The Roman state inside the law, seven political systems. So he is into political stuff. 
What do we got in here? Okay. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, let's not sit here then. I am really curious to know what happened to him. Alright, I'm guessing maybe this is going to be the bathroom and we put it in there. So let's look a little bit more out here. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Get well soon. Love, Mom. Can we open it up? I want to see nothing on the inside. Okay. What is this? <laughs> what is that? I can't quite make out what that is. That's just our notebook. Alrighty. The Grimoire presents Robin McConnell. Oh, and th that must be the author. There's that same that same picture. Book signing, eh? Well, that could be cool. All right. Dr. Aaron Peake, St. Mary Hospital, Toronto, Pace Laboratories. Guided Town Seven Five Five Tracer Fluid. Okay, so this is what from the pharmacy when they gave us our fluid. Us and somebody? Well, this could be our friends, or who even knows? He's a photographer. They could just be two strangers on a bus, and he liked... Well, they're in front of Grimoire, though, the comic place. So, they might be friends. Maybe they're the owners. Alright, let's have a look at our computer. From David Munchi, Neurograph Session. Okay, we are April 30th. Hang on. I know I want to see what that says, but first, when's this? January 11th. Oh, so we, we were way past that. Hopefully we didn't miss it. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Sincerely, David Munchie. Okay. New prescription from Dr. Aaron Peek. Dear Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Yikes. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I've written you a prescription for Prozosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I will see you next week. And a draft. Okay. Hi, Jesse. Oh, since I forgot you... to hit send. Oh, since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got that doctor's appointment tomorrow. I, I'm not coming in to work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store, and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they're put on shelves where people are able to actually see them. Good luck. You'll need it. Well, we might as well send it now. Better late than never. Nah, at least she's... It's something. <laughs> Tree mail. What else we got here? Okay, I don't think we can actually interact with anything else on here, so... Um. Uh. There we go. Right click gets me out. Okay. Leave that open. Oh, wow, that is... something you need to clean, buddy. Ew. Hide some of that. It's looking scummy. How does... If this is flush against the wall, how's he got his pants wedgied on there? There were a murderer hiding in the bathroom. 
No, I'll admit, I'm paranoid. This is the thing I do. Like, you go to people's houses, right? They're entertaining. And frequently, they'll close their shower curtains just because maybe it's looking kind of scummy and they don't want people to see. But I always, if there's a closed shower curtain, I have to peek and make sure no one's lurking in there. And there never has been, but there's this, this fear I have that what if someone is hiding in the bathtub? Oh, wow, this looks really bad. So, what's this bleeding we're dealing with? And where's our mirror in the... Is this a bathroom without a mirror? That seems very odd. Well, none of this looks like the medicine from our dream. Whoops. I'll just make a mess of everything. What? I throw away the... the finished ones. Whoops. Whatever. Okay. Man, I really thought the medicine was going to be in here, too. All right, just to see if we can. I'm sure we can. I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. Oh, okay. I just wanted to let it run. I wonder. No, I can't grab a towel. I was going to see, like, think, like, you know... Could you maybe plug it and then let the water run? It's not a nice thing to do, but I'm just curious if we could. Okay, so... Where did we put that medicine? Okay, we're not getting out until we find it. I don't think this is it. I have a feeling when he finds it, then he'll interact with it in such a way that we know that's it. We picked it up because we have the letter about it. So it's somewhere in here. Oops, I didn't mean to pick that up. I was gonna... yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Come here. Oh, you miserable little thing. What's this bottle? Not it at all. Well, bummer. And I'm pretty sure I would have seen it if we were in here. Is it under the bed? No, and it wasn't under the pillow. We can't move the blanket. Not in any of the drawers, right? I'm assuming... Well, in his dream he said it's green. But it looked red, so I'm just assuming it's a bottle that's going to look like one or the other of those. Can't push the couch. Some more blockbusters. Japanimation, bigger than ever. Stunts versus CGI. What's a battle movie? I don't know. Massive recoil, flawless execution. There it is. Ah, okay, but first, what's this? Downtown accident kills young woman. Is this what happened? Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived but with complicated results believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. And the driver of the SUV, whose name has been released by police, claims it was an accident and practically unavoidable. So. Oh, well, has not been released by police, so that makes more sense. That's what happened. Friday, April 10th. And what was it today? It was 
Not that long after. Thirtieth. Okay. Well, there we go. Down the hatch. Oh, it's clear. It feels <laughs> like milk, but the taste. It's like sucking on a penny. So then we've been plagued by nightmares. That certainly seems related, you know, to the accident, and, you know, who wouldn't be in such a situation? Wait. It's shimmering like maybe I can grab this one below. Can I? Or is it just... I don't think I can. Okay, leave it alone. We had the medicine. I think we are prepared to go. Going fossil, fellow passengers. Oh well, let's get it. Jesse. Hey Simon, I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. All I right. should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL. Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time, working the comic section. That's hmm. Ashley's job. Yeah. Well. You know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? <laughs> Thanks, the worst buddy. support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. You won't find me in a voting booth. All a big setup. Yeah? Conspiracies, eh? So that's an awkward conversation with Jesse, but I mean, I mean he's got a point. Can't leave the spot vacant. Someone's got to do it. Um. Yeah, Hello? this looks really professional. Doctor Munchie. Yeah, this is meant to be a horror game. I don't know that I'm trusting this, Simon. I mean, he said things are kind of touch and go, but this looks... Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. Oh, well, let's turn a light on. That's creepy. I'm not scared of clowns. I know they really bother some people. Just this one seems a little... Eh, I guess it's alright. I mean, we've got the trapeze artist here, so that makes more sense. It's like a circus. At first, I wasn't sure what was going on, because the style of the painting, where it's all just kind of blurry, almost like an explosion of little blobs of color everywhere. It wouldn't be my first choice of artwork in whatever this is. Some sort of medical center, right? But, eh, that's not bad. Well, and I guess taken with this, like, at least there's a variety. It's kind of interesting for the people who have to wait there. This looks awful, but obviously the thing's not really ready for people to come in. Ooh. Hi. Well, since there's nobody to stop me, let's just... What we got going on here? From David Munchie. Scan now. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me. ASAP. Hmm. Get your stuff ready. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I've managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models, and also if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner right away. Scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. It should be interesting. 
Hmm, what do we have here that was sent? Wait, May 2nd? It was, I thought it was April 25th. It was April 25th. What is... Alright, to David Munchi. Found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I called security, talked to Professor Wei to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Paul. Oh, here we go. It is, it is Saturday, sec Saturday, May 2nd. Okay, maybe I just read that wrong back at the apartment. I probably said and I was the email was just from a different date and I didn't catch it. Okay. So he's gonna leave a note somewhere he says. One of these drawers. Hmm. Trial and error. Put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. The brain has an amazing trance. Amazing trance. Huh? What does that mean? It has an amazing... Oh, tra I'm okay. I was, you were trying to read straight across the whole thing. It's columns. Come on, Lavinia. An amazing transformative quality. A plasticity that allows it to compensate and even heal itself, explains Paul Berg, a graduate student in neuroscience at York University in Toronto. It is this quality that Berg and his colleague David Munchi, a student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing, and we hope to accomplish this with simple things like exercise, therapy, and light medication. But Munchie and Berg are not looking for a miraculous panacea. It's about finding the optimal treatment for each patient. They start out recording something called a Nakajima neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction, says Munchie. Instead of a static brain scan, the neurograph can tell us where your brain is going. So, damaged brain scan to produce computer model. Numerous tests conducted on model without risk. Perfected treatment is then applied on patient. What's this? It is not a long forecast. It's about milliseconds, but with the right computer model, Berg and Munchie can then administer all kinds of treatments without risking actual harm to the real brain. We could try giving your brain an overdose of painkillers while running a marathon, suggests Berg. It's just a computer model. We were able to fail treating you a million times over, only to find the right way. And when they do find that optimal treatment, that's when they apply it to the real patient. It's still in the early stages, but their project has caught the attention from Pace Laboratories, who has promised to assist them with both equipment and workspace. We are very fortunate to get all this support, says Berg. Now we just need to get out of limelight and actually do the work. John Ribbon. Maybe it's Ribbon. And this is Munchi and Berg, eh? Alright, so these are the fellas we're looking for. Hmm, what do I got here? No, 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 I want to pick that up. I don't think I can. Nope. Alright. Alright, what's in here? Page 56, Neurographics Nakajima. Also, moment def, tweak for right length, 20 to 30 MS blurry. Del Pedre method. 2501, is that maybe what that says? Alright. Well, can we call anybody? No. Okay. So it's this not is the just place, open, right? right? It must be. Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. Eh. That's okay. Okay. I can figure this out. Yes, we can. There we go. Open up. Hello. It's a first aid box that doesn't open. What if I actually needed it? What's that say? LS National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Well, this looks like probably the place, but let's try every other door first. Oh no, there's someone in there that's... Don't talk to him yet. I want to see what else we got. Acquisition principles, hardware... 
Okay, all kinds of stuff about pace. Uh, that I don't know what it means, so we're going to skip it for the moment. This room looks fancy. Oh, hey, we had these at home. Are they scanning someone right now? Scan calculation. Get some light in here. Can't say I know what any of that means. The nervous system. All right. Well, let's go talk with the person we saw. Oh, hi. Howdy there. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Yeah. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Well, oh, that's did you pretty uh, great, actually. take the tracer fluid? Yes. I did. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. What, just hop in the chair? All right, let me look around a bit, then we're going to talk to you, and then we'll approach the chair. It is kind of curious, though, that he didn't ask us, you know, how did you get in here? The door was locked and sealed by a code. Please, have a seat. Uh, in a minute. I'm looking at stuff. Uh, oh, it's just the light. Now nah, I can stay on. Okay, there's not really much to interact with here. I do want to talk so to them some more. So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> Anything else? You know, it's a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Wow. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well... Don't stress out, buddy. We probably can't restore your brain don't. completely. But we should be able to make those X months turn into years. Decades, even. And if you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. All right, well, that's hopeful. I really hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, what do you say? Should we get going? Sure. Let's get started. Take a seat. That's all he's got to say, eh? Okay. No, I think if I were in his position, I mean, that'd be a really tough thing to live with. You've been in a car accident and your brain's damaged and you only have so many months to live. Like, that's a lot to digest. But if you found someone who had a study and thought that potentially they could help Just you, have a like, seat and we'll you'd go for it, right? That. Especially since they say it's going to be this totally pl painless thing and all they have to do is scan. I mean, I imagine we've probably had brain scans at the hospital already, so yeah, let's do it. There's no downside, right? Let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph. He's younger than me. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. I thought they call First Nations in Canada. Okay, that doesn't seem like a normal scan. Are we okay? 
What happened? Hello? Mr. Munchie? Um... So is this real, or is this Did all Did something go head? wrong? Did we appear to die and someone she just this got out of here and funny. booked? Left the body here? Um, that looks like a really suspicious I, I'm not supposed ground. to put myself in... Don't stress out. I know, it's kind of impossible not to. What is... This is kind of stressing me out! Why are there shoes here? Hey! Anyone? There's shoes, there's a lot of blood. We can't focus well. Was this here before? Something with writing I completely don't understand. Oh, that doesn't look good. Um, don't mess with that just yet. No, these suits were not here before. Service console. Omnitool chip installer. Build, shape, and optimize your Omnitool with fully customized tools and assistance. Don't anything come and kill me. How did I get here? Spaceship? This is totally not where we were. It's not a normal scan at all. He lied to us. Okay. Unlock terminal from service console. Well, where's the service console? Squeeze through there. Okay, we'll go around. Maybe we should put on a spacesuit to be safe. What is this? Caution. Keep the space clear at all times. Well, where's that hatch go? There was kind of a weird, deep, growly, rattly sound. Insert an Omni tool. Well, we have not got one, so. Perhaps we'll get one. Okay, toolbox. Yeah, open it up. The trouble with turning on the power is that al although now we can see, if there's anything that we need to be hiding from, this is going to get its attention. Oh boy. Alright. Um... <laughs> Really? Well, it didn't look like there was anything in here. Okay, I've missed something, obviously. Yeah, I'm not feeling good about the blood all over the place. Well, okay, so where's the service console? Or an alternate way out. We can't go down the hatch. That seems like that would be a good way to go. What? What was that? Okay, I was hoping to slam it into the window, but that really didn't work. This might do. Come on. There! Okay, go 
listen carefully. Come on, let me through. Do like a crouch hop. Okay. Really? I can't I can't go through? There we go. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Music don't do that. It's making that oh now you've done it sound. No storage permitted. Alright, wherever we are, Simon, I think it's a really bad place. <coughs> the tech depot, huh? Bleeding, fractures. Okay, it doesn't say anything about like monster bites or something, so that's encouraging. Still no mirror, huh? but now it's at the wrong angle. No, rice. No much print for us. Okay. Home is a state of mind. we got. This is locked up. Not happening. Next seal. What's being sealed? Hmm. We're gonna release something we shouldn't, aren't we? Oh boy, let's do it. Machine hanger. I'm sure there's a reason that was sealed. <laughs> what? It, what is happening? The workers freaking us out. <gasps> okay, we'll leave it alone. Why's that one got legs? Okay, I guess they are. Sp well, no, I don't. That one doesn't look like the other one. There's something wrong. Plus it moved. And maybe... Maybe Simon's just a little freaked out and imagined it, but... I don't feel good about it. So, we're just gonna keep our distance. Did I just scrape something on the ground, or did that thing growl at me? You just, 
You stay over there, buddy. No, none of the other ones look like that. That's not a that's not a Himatsu worker, it's something else. thing over again. Hey you. Yeah it is. Okay. Um Okay. Maybe we need to go up to the really terrifying one that I kinda wanna leave alone. It's not there. It's loose and it's going to kill me. I should never have opened this door. Oh my gosh, it's gone! It's going to rampage and it's going to take me out. Well, I guess I can get through there now. Oh, good grief. since we woke up here. Are we sure I'm a person? Or am I some... Because we did just interact with that machine somehow. Am I some sort of creepy machine too? Oh, this is kind of cool. It's almost like organic machinery taking things over. Just growing wild. Alright, where'd my big grease spots go? Oh, through the... must be reported immediately. Back up, back up. Oh. Are we okay? Okay, we are not getting into the service station, apparently. Uh, 
Okay, and there's another block that we should really leave in place. Curiosity's gonna win out. We're gonna take it out off, but um let's investigate before we unleash more devastation upon the world. Oops. Ah, shit. <laughs> okay, let's leave that alone. <laughs> oh, this is kind of a longer path than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to dead end us and force us to go through the pneumatic. So, Omni Tool. We need an Omni Tool. Okay, yep, so, um, back to the room that's probably sealed for a very good reason. And we'll just run up there willy-nilly and, uh, take the seal off. Yeah, this makes me feel really good about taking off the seal. Jeez, please. It's playing danger music. There's something in there that's gonna kill me. This is actually a good time to go ahead and wind the episode down. Uh, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come on back and next time, I'm not seeing another way to go, so we are gonna take that seal off and, uh, yeah, we're probably going to make things a lot worse for us than if we'd just left it alone, but what can you do?